Let's take a look at how to change a flex ship and also capitalize on one of your benefits, the VIP points coupons. When you go into your back office across the top, you will see the word flex ship. You can bump your date out to a later date and make sure that you're scheduled for every other month. You know this shampoo lasts forever. We definitely don't even need it every other month. But this is a great reminder because you think about your shampoo when you're naked in the shower. So let's make sure that we're remembering it on when we can be on the computer. So first thing, we've got a flagship set up. If you want to change what's in your flagship, you need to add products to your cart first and then remove others. This is Monate's way of protecting you to make sure that you get the free shipping and the free only for you product. So be sure to add to the cart first and then you can remove products that you don't want afterwards. Up at the top right hand corner, you can see VIP points. This has a drop down menu. Scroll to the bottom and grab your oldest coupon first. These coupons are worth $15. You can use one per flex ship order and they are not usable on a flash sale. Copy the code and then you go back into flex ship. And when you open your card up again, you will be able to add this VIP points coupon code. Also, don't forget to choose an only for you product. You can pick your only for you product when you are already in the month that your flex ship is shipping out. I recommend that you schedule your flex ship for you know, the first week, full week of the month so that you have time to select that only for you product. Each month they change, so it's not something you can pre-plan for. So if you're shopping in August, Make your ship date for August 8th. So at the beginning of the month of August, you can go in there and update that only for you product. You can see the VIP points coupon is enclosed, is approved there. And um, and then just follow, Do your you can do your checkout information, change that and make sure that you just click save and exit and then you are good to go.